Do you guys ever go back and uh, think about some fighters that... I guess fighters that you used to be really, really big fans of and then, you know, they kind of changed after a while. Junior Dos Santos, for me, has been has been one of those guys, man. I remember... Um, thank you. There was a time... This is a while back, a while back, when JDS was still... I mean, this was... Uh, it was right after JD... Not even that. It was... I believe I, I started like really oh wow became a big fan of JDS after after that KO of um, Fabricio Verdum. I don't know if you guys remember that beautiful uppercut, but it was just glorious, man. It was glorious. Uppercutted that man, knocked him out cold. It was it was it was sick. From there, what are we doing right now, bro? What's the plan? But yeah, man, from there, just became, you know, a big fan. Became a big fan of JDS. Um, he had some, some spectacular performances. His performance against Steph is Truth was another one that I really, really loved. I just liked his boxing. I thought his boxing was beautiful. I Yo, what is this guy doing? He's really, really trying to... He wants to turn this into a straight up grappling match right now. Like, why? What's going on, bro? Yo, Tom. Tom Aspinall can strike, man. Like, what are you doing? I mean, it's fine if you want to. Dang. I can smell the desperation in your heart. He just. Uh, he literally doesn't want me anywhere near him. That's That's what this is. That's what this is, and see, this is desperate. This is this is desperate fighting he's doing right now. This is not good, man. It's gonna get him in trouble. Essentially, he doesn't want to have anything to do with the boxing, which I mean I understand, but he can absolutely box with JDS using Tom Aspinall. In fact, I will I will gladly take that gamble. If I had to pick between both of them, in terms of like, who would I rather box with? I would pick Tom Aspinall every time. Like, what, what the heck? This dude doesn't know, he doesn't know the character he's using. <laughs> what the hell right now? Should've picked DC, brother. Should've picked DC. I think he had every intention of striking, which is why he picked Tom. But then I guess once he saw who he was fighting, he decided to attack my weakness. That's what they do, man. That's what they do. It's like, oh, yo, that's like, no, Marshall Mind came. Marshall Mind doesn't grapple, so. Like, I know how to grapple. It just, it, it depends on what mood you catch me in. And. Some players will tell you, bro, like you catch me in a certain in a certain mood and grappling me will be very easy. You catch me in a different mood and it's going to be it's going to be a hard 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 time, man. It just depends. Am I the only one that's like that? I think just playing me in general is kind of like that. Like there's some I'm just not very con consistent when it comes to the uh, to UFC 4, like just not too consistent. I'm not always Hyper competitive every time you run into me. Rock again. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, great fight to you, bro. Bro, we had that man flattened out like he was on a cross, bro. Damn. Boom. Dead. All right. Yeah, we are going to move on, baby. We are going to move on.
Really? So, um, made a video about this, but it, it, it actually took me a minute to find a second fight because the game just kept like feeding me swole DJ. What are you doing, bro? Like, oh my God, I am so not in the mood. Ay, 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 man. You know how, like I had to, the game put me on timeout. It put me on timeout because I kept like refusing matches. Um, he kept like, not refusing matches, but not refusing matches, but he kept feeding me the light heavyweight division and not giving me the heavyweight division. So had to had to wait because I got put on timeout. Got put on timeout timeout for like 20 minutes or something like that, and the weight classes, the timer ran out. So I had to wait for this to get cycled over again. And, bro, it's doing the same crap. Like, I would like to get multiple, multiple fights with JDS, but, like, I'm just... I'm just tired of waiting, bro. So... <sighs> now this dude is not really giving me a good fight. This is freaking annoying, bro. Yo, what is it... What is going on, bro? You guys are using very good fighters, and why are you fighting this way? Come on. Anyway, let's talk about JDS for a minute. This Junior DeSantos had some beautiful performances. His fight against Stefan Struve was one of my favorite ones. I love the finish, man. Lunged or leaped into a beautiful left hook. Teed off on Stefan Struve with hooks. Sat him down with a beautiful overhand. Got him out of there. Got him out of there. Then, of course, he uh, knocked out Cain Velasquez. Flattened him with a beautiful overhand shot. He was able to uh, defend his title. Defend his title against uh, Frank Mir. That was a really good fight against Frank Mir. I believe he defended the belt twice. I don't remember the second guy he defended against. Rocked. Set him down. But yeah, man, some of my favorite JDS fights. Um, whoa, what's his name? Gilbert Ivel, I believe that's how you say his name. JDS put on a show in that fight, man. Junior also fought Shane Carwin. You guys go, if, you, if you've not seen that fight, man, JDS versus Shane Carwin. That was a beautiful fight. Junior boxed that dude's head off, man. He absolutely just destroyed Shane Carwin. And Shane, powerful man, bro. You know, Junior had to be very careful in that fight. But he just completely outboxed him. Completely outboxed him. His boxing was just so beautiful. So beautiful. You know, a guy who's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but just in the heavyweight division at that time, too. The heavyweight division was full of grapplers, you know? It was Cain Velasquez, it was like, you know, Frank Mir, it was Big Nog, it was Fabricio Verdum. Um, it was a lot of grapplers, a lot of people, a lot of fighters in that weight class at the time were not high levels. Look at him trying to fake glove touch me. Bum. 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 You bum. Side step in like a bum. Not sure. Not sure who. Not sure what. What's wrong with you right now? I don't know what's pissing you off or why you decided to play like a, like a twat. But like, this is not gonna work out for you, man. You're like, I'm not gonna lose to you, bro. I can't wait to knock this dude out. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. Okay. 
I got you. You're a drone. You're the drone. I'm going to give you guys the different types of UFC 4 strikers you're going to run into. I already have the archetypes in my head. Um, let's see. You're going to run into the, the pseudo-technical striker. The guy that's going to back up the whole time because he thinks that's what it means to be technical. You're going to run into the actual technical striker who's going to use a bunch of fakes to try to... Um, to try to uh, confuse you. You're going to run into the drone, which is guys like this who are essentially programmed. Everything they do is uh, its like they're reading off of a script. My opponent does this, I do this. If I do this, I do this. If he does this, then this follows. Those guys are the guys you read, you watch them. Once you figure out what the script is, you can set them up. Because you, know you know what's coming from their book. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Yeah, this, this, this is the, the drone archetype right here. Watch this. He didn't do it then. But I think I saw something. You see that? You guys notice what I just noticed? You notice that? All right, we'll see if you guys keyed in on what I keyed in on. I'm going to do it again, and we'll see if you keyed in on what I keyed in on. We'll see if you guys notice what I noticed. This is the drone right here. Watch this. He didn't do it then. Okay. <laughs> Pause the video. Seriously, like, honestly, be, 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 be genuine. Because I'm going to say it in the next round what I noticed. But pause the video and tell me if you notice what's happening every time I front kick him to the body. Tell me if you notice what the drone is doing. In round number two, we'll, do, we'll, we'll try to re, uh, re, uh, show it again. Because I promise you, I promise you, these guys, they're like AIs, man. It's like fighting the AI. They're not going to be able to help it. They're not going to be able to help it. It's repetition. He's done this so many times. It's programmed into his veins. All right, so hold on. Now I'm going to use the teeth to set this man up. You see what I'm seeing? You see what I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say what I'm seeing. Let's just see if you guys see it. AI. AI oh, drone. Oh, he stopped himself then. He's like, oh, I can't help it. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's programmed into me. Please don't. Please recognize what's happening. Recognize what's happening. That is fascinating. That is fascinating. That is fascinating.
Wow. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I genuinely wonder if if EA like inserts the AI somehow into online play, bro. Like if you told me they did, this would be like a, a good video you could use as proof. I like, see what I mean? They insert the AI in there somehow to play on ranked as well. This would be a very good a very good fight to use if you were making that argument. Of course, it's a real player, but like, wow. Wow. Junior. Anyways, there you go. I'm going to leave it at that because I am tired, tired of trying to wait for fights, trying to wait for the heavyweight division. Hope you guys enjoyed the video with JDS. Hope this was entertaining. If it was, leave a like on it. And uh, I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.